thumb. Today I'm gonna make the, uh, the dumpling. Okay, yeah, thumb's gonna be changing it up a little bit. It's not Asian food today. Today she's actually making a recipe that she learned from my dad. Um, it's basically how to make homemade dumplings, and we're gonna be making it with uh, chicken soup. And chicken uh, soup. let's go over the ingredients. Okay, Tom, so what are we gonna be using today? Uh, I have the chicken. Okay, this roast. is an easy way. Um, usually you can pick up these uh, pre cooked chickens at the grocery stores. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be uh, basically just taking the meat off that, right, Tom? Right. Um, okay, so that's gonna be added to the soup to give it uh, more chicken mm -hmm. and a good taste. What else you got? I got two cans of the soup. Two chicken cans soup. of chicken noodle soup, I think it is. Yeah, okay. And you can use whatever type of soup you want. Um, usually we like to make it with chicken noodle. Okay, what else? Next one is the egg. Fresh eggs, okay. Yeah, fresh egg. And next one is the um, butter. Um, so, okay, we're using a, a butter type spread. Okay, mm -hmm. how much did you have in there? I have four tablespoons. Four tablespoons, okay. Yeah. She looks like she already melted it. Okay. I already melted it. And next one, the flour. Okay, so we got some general all, all purpose flour. Okay. Okay, to start out, now I'm putting the uh, all purpose flour in the bowl. How many cups do you have, Tom? I'm gonna use about four cups. Okay, four cups, and this will make quite a bit right. of dumplings. Mm -hmm. And these are definitely, <laughs> at least in my opinion, they're a lot better um, than. You know the typical types you usually see in the store-bought uh, chicken and noodles right. or chicken and dumplings I should say usually the store-bought ones they're more like kind of flat noodly types these are gonna be the big um, kind of just lump dumplings so it's gonna be good that's good for the winter yeah you know, winter for the, um, cold so that's why I would love to make when yeah cold weather. yeah my dad taught her how to make them and <laughs> she's loved them ever since yeah. it's definitely uh, something I've always loved growing up too so um, how many eggs are we going to be putting in here, Tom? Um, let's see, 9, 12. I might use about 10. About 10 eggs? Okay, yeah, wow, 10 she's eggs. putting quite a bit of eggs. Right. And you could probably vary that a little bit on uh, how much you like it. Right. Um, that helps hold it all together, so mm -hmm. she's going to put a lot of eggs in there. Right, so now... I'm so we start cracking all the eggs crack and the put eggs them in, in there. there. Okay, it looks like Tom put in uh, um, 8 eggs in there so far. So, okay. Now she's pouring in the uh, butter type spread. Butter. Then so. just mix it all up. Mix it all up until the. It becomes flour. nice and doughy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I've start mix it. That's why I'm use a lot of eggs because I make a lot of dumpling. You know, I don't want the um, flour is like crumpy. Have to be laid. Mixed up, Mix up good. Okay, and if you are probably washing your cholesterol, you probably could cut back on some of the eggs. Right. And just add a little water. A little water. Okay, we're back with Dom. She's uh, mixing it up. It's a pretty thick dough. And actually, she did add a quarter cup of water. Yeah. Um, but this is definitely um, a meal that's going to stick to your ribs and uh, uh -huh. fill you up for uh, quite a while once they're cooked. All right, we're back with Thom. She's getting ready to cook them. So what's the uh, what do you got going here, Thom? Um, actually, I boil the hot water. Okay, she's got a big, big old pot filled with hot water. Right. And basically, we're just going to be boiling the dumplings, right? Right, dumpling. So and uh, I have the spoon. I have to wet the spoon first because the dumpling don't stick on the. Okay, yeah, the dough is very sticky. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so yeah. basically, you just kind of carve out as much of the dough for the size of the dumpling right. you want to make. And you just. Drop, Drop it in, in the, the hot water. Hot water. Okay, if it comes off. Ah. <laughs> it's hanging on. It don't want to go in a yeah. hot swim. <laughs> Here we go. Like those. There we go. Okay. So basically, just put them in there, and then they'll start cooking. Cooking. And they start floating, right? Don't right. They, they when start. they're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, See, they sink when you first put them in. Then, when as they start cooking, they'll start floating. Right. Just dump them in there. Yeah. Oops. Some is easy. Okay. So we're just gonna load up the pot. Start the cookie, and once I get uh, closer to being finished, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we're back with Tom. Um, looks like the dumplings are starting to float, so uh -huh. I think they're all ready. Um, basically, they've been cooking for what about five, five minutes? Five minutes, maybe? yeah, five minutes. Now, as you can see, they kind of fluff up, right? Um, and they get nice and cooked. Mm -hmm. And you just take it off. And we're gonna load up uh, a little plate here to hold them all. We're just gonna keep making them until all we get right. that filled up. And save them to add to the soup here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna show you how to make a soup. Okay, Thom's back here. We got the second batch of dumplings um, ready. Sometimes um, the dumplings won't float right up because they might stick to the bottom of the pan. Right. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of stir them up Held a little them. bit, mm -hmm. and then they'll come up. 
And right. when they uh, do float like that, then you know they're close to being done. Right. Just let them sit like two, three minutes and take it out. Okay, Thumb's getting ready to work on making the soup. And we're going to be doing it a pretty easy way. Um, right. Instead of making it totally homemade, this is a kind of a quick, fast way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, basically, she's just going to take the you know, rotisserie chicken that we got. She's just going to start peeling all the meat off the chicken. And we're going to fill up the uh, little container here with the chicken meat. Then basically, you're going to take all the chicken meat and we're just going to add it to soup. some uh, soup. So we just picked up some Progresso chicken noodle soup. And we're going to add the extra meat in there because it will definitely make it a lot better tasting right. and make it more meaty. So uh, we'll come back after Tom gets most of the meat pulled off the chicken. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to make the soup. So this is an easy way. You just, you know, have the soup from the can. Can soup. Can soup. Yeah. You so. can make your own homemade soup too if you want. Right. But this is, we're just kind of showing you the quick and easy way. Mm -hmm. um, we'll use the can soup as the base starter. And then, like I said, we're going to kick it up with uh, the extra chicken and also be adding some uh, extra flavoring with spices that we have. Right. So, yeah. Just boil the soup and you throw some of the chicken in there. So, that's it. Said. Yeah. Yeah, because the canned soup never has enough chicken, so you definitely got to add some <laughs> more extra, meat. Some more meat in there. <laughs> Let's make this a hearty meal. Right. <laughs> you can add more water too if you want, or chicken bouillon. Chicken broth. Yeah, chicken broth. Like okay. This. Okay, I'm going to add some more water because it's... Okay, so she wants to make a lot of soup, so she's mm -hmm. adding about two cups more water. Alright, I'm safe for my next day too. <laughs> okay, when do you throw the chicken in, Dom? Huh? When do you when throw the... the uh, hot, when, when the soup is hot. Starting to boil? Yeah, okay. start to boil. And I'm going to throw some of the, um, what they call? Chicken bouillon? Yeah, chicken bouillon okay. too. Okay, that'll make it, uh, give it more chicken flavor. Right, one... One cube? One cube. Okay. So, just throw in there and let it sit and boil it. That's it. Okay, Um, my soup is boiling now. So okay, soup's getting warm. Okay, it's so warm. what you can do? Add the chicken in? Yeah, I'm going to add the chicken. There's okay, a lot of so meat. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of meat right. in our soup. Yeah. We'll be like it nice and hearty. All right, just throw okay, in there. So we got basically pretty much a whole chicken going in <laughs> with the mm -hmm. soup. Let that simmer, get all the flavors in the chicken and the soup to mix. Alright. So I'm going to add some Some spices, spice. okay. Uh, okay, and uh, basically you can add to your own tasting. Right. Let's see, what do you got over here you're going to be adding, Tom? I got Mr. Dash. Mrs. Dash, not Mr. Dash. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Dash, okay, that's table okay. blend. Okay. Okay. And pretty much you can add whatever flavors you want. Mm -hmm. um, okay, add some of that. Yes. And some cayenne. We usually like a little spicy, pepper. so we're going to add some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Okay. You yeah. like spicy? Yeah. And what else? Got some rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. flavor. Give it a little bit better chicken flavor in the soup. And grow. Some ground black pepper. Black pepper. Okay. So we're going to add some in there. And again, you, you can add these to your own taste. Mm -hmm. You know, however you like it. And See? basically stir it up. You can get a lot of flavors going in the soup. Yeah, this is definitely a great to have on a cold winter day or like if you're sick or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a... It's a snow outside yeah, like that. Snuggle up with your warm bowl of soup and <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it. Okay, so those are cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're getting pretty close to being done. Once we get it all done, we'll uh, good. make a bowl and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, we're back down. Looks like she's all done. She got a big pile of dumplings there. Put some <laughs> soup in the bowl with some dumplings. Yeah. And now what she can do? She's going to top it off with some butter spread, right? Tom? Yeah, I'll add some more. You know, um, make more flavor. Yeah, so, add a big old clump on top. Right, depend what you want, how much you want. Let it melt so. down. Mm -hmm. so, and there you go. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's it. And you can add more the pepper if you want it more pepper. spicy. That's it. How's it look like? So, and ready to eat. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you for watching me. This is an easy meal, you know, for the cold weather. So I'll see you guys next time.